Welcome to another Apex CCTV training module. This is Matthew and Jason, and today we're going to demonstrate how to power your security cameras with individual power supplies and multi-channel power distribution units. We will be working with pre-cut Siamese cable, as well as non-pre-cut Siamese cable, that we have terminated ourselves. These cables come in various lengths and are used to transfer your video from the camera to a DVR and power from a power supply or unit to the camera. The conventional way to power single cameras is to use individual power supplies. This item is usually just a transformer with an already terminated connection. You can connect this to the end of the Siamese cable near your DVR or at the camera itself. Using this method is great for individual cameras or locations where power is readily accessible near the camera. If you have a multiple camera installation, however, you may want to centralize your power distribution by using something like this 4-channel 12-volt DC power distribution unit. First, wire the AC wall plug to the unit by connecting the black and white leads to the two black leads coming from the transformer inside the PDU. Then, connect the multicolored lead to the multicolored ground lead connected to the case. If you are using pre-cut Siamese cable, the first step is to install the female connector pigtails into the unit. It is important not to cross polarities. That may result in a damaged camera or power distribution unit, or both. Typically, but not always, the white stripe wire is the positive cable. This cable is sometimes red also. In this scenario, the red cable with the black stripe is the negative cable, and the positive cable is red with small white plus signs. Check the documentation provided with your equipment to verify this before installing your system. Connect the bare wire of the positive cable into the positive terminal of the PDU and the bare wire of the negative cable into the negative terminal. Secure the connector by tightening the terminal screws. Next, connect the pre-cut cable to the camera. Then, connect the other end of the pre-cut cable to the pigtail and the video input of your DVR. The camera is now powered and ready to be used. Now, if you are using the non-pre-cut cable, you can connect the bare ends of your desired length of cable directly into the power distribution unit. Just connect the positive wire to the positive terminal and the negative wire to the negative terminal as before. With this particular setup, however, you will need to put a female connector on the other end of the non-pre-cut Siamese cable so that you can connect your camera. Remember to route the cables to your liking during installation. This can be done using the various removable sections of the unit. That covers the different options you have for powering your CCTV cameras. This has been a presentation of ApexCCTV.com. Please feel free to contact us with any questions or comments.